Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part two of the tile pattern design tutorial in the Measure Square 8 advanced series. In this video, we will cover advanced tile pattern design with a hex tile and a parallelogram tile. To make our hex tile, it's the same process as a regular tile, except we choose the hexagon regular option from the shape menu. Note, to calculate the hexagon size, we input the width of the longest dimension into the length field, and the hexagon size will be calculated accordingly. In this case, we want our hex tile to be 8 inches across. We will then click Save. To free draw our parallelogram tile, we will make a new tile product, but then select the free draw option from the shape drop down menu. This will allow us to access the take off tile button located below the size dimensions. Once we click Take Off Tile, we will see the Polygon Drawing pop-up. We will start by clicking the Draw Polygon button. Just like free drawing a room, we will left click to start drawing the bottom edge of our tile. We will left click again when the line reaches 7 inches. We can then use the drawing pad to input the length of our next edge as 3 inches. Next, we can use the Degree field to type in 120 degrees as we will be placing this tile along the edge of a hexagon. We can then click Apply to build this section of the tile. We can then draw a top line of 7 inches and left click to build the top edge of our tile. We can then take our cursor and left click at the original corner to complete the drawing of this tile. Then click Save and we'll be back to the Product Estimating Details view. Next, we will click on the Design button to begin designing our custom pattern. To begin, click on the New Tile button and select our hex tile from the list. Go back to the Add Tile button and select our parallelogram tile. We can left click and hold down on the bottom right handle of the tile and snap it to the top right corner of the hex tile. We can then click on the Duplicate button to bring in the same tile and snap this one to the bottom edge of the hex tile. Once the top and bottom of the hex are wrapped in the new tile, we can hit the Duplicate button again to bring in a third one. This time, we will take the corner of the tile and snap it to the corner point of the hex tile, like so. Once this tile is snapped to the corner, we can select the Rotate button in the top center. This will allow us to left click on the top corner of the tile, and then left click on the bottom corner of the tile to create a reference line we can then use to rotate the tile until the bottom corner is snapped to the appropriate location wrapping the hex tile. We will then repeat the duplicate and rotate operation for our fourth tile until the hexagon is wrapped. Note that once we have enough tiles wrapping the hex, the program can autocomplete the pattern in the thumbnail view. We can then save our tile pattern and drag and drop to apply.